I'm going to talk about gastrophoresis, an area which I've been dealing with for quite a number of years. And I'm just going to spend about a minute talking about physiology of gastric motility. Because if you understand physiology, you understand what's going wrong in a disease state. And the stomach actually is a complex organ. We tend to think it's a sack of muscle, get the food and get it out. It's much more complex than that. It has different segments. You have what we call a proximal segment, a middle and distal one, which is the body and the antrum, which has pacemaker cells, and of course muscle, and it's an antral pump. You have a pylorus, which is a sphincter of sorts, and you have a small bowel, which communicate back with the stomach and coordinate its activity. And under normal condition, these various segments talk to one another. So they coordinate one other activity. And they do that primarily by way of gastric reflexes. And those are primarily modulated with my mechanoreceptors. That is nerve ending that sense stretch or contractions. And there's positive and negative feedback. In other words, one segment can promote the other or inhibit the other. And it depends also on nerves that come from the outside, as well as nerves which are within the gut. And all of these, under normal condition, will make sure that your stomach pumps well, get the food out on time. <clears throat> so that when we eat, the proximal part of the upper part of the stomach relaxes. So we can eat a very large meal, don't feel full, and don't get uncomfortable because pressure does not build up. And then the food slowly makes its way to this part. These are pacemaker cells that generate electrical activity very much like the heart. The electrical activity, in turn, of course, control how the contractions are organized so that you got constant grinding of food over here. And then that food then is liquefied and gets out of the stomach in very small particles. The stomach empties one to two millimeters. So think of it that you're eating a chunk of steak and you're not swallowing it. It's going to sit there for a number of hours until this grinding <coughs> is going to bring it down to very tiny particles. The small bowel in turn control this activity so that both vagus and number of hormones, so CCK and PYY, will block the stomach if too much liquid and food goes down. And this is because the small bowel cannot handle too much volume. If you pour too much, you get what we call dumping. You get nauseous and comfortable. If you empty too little, you get gastroparesis. So the small bowel works on a very, very fine rate of um, elimination. And under normal condition, this all works beautifully. You eat, you don't have any symptoms. Go around your business. The stomach does its job on autopilot. <clears throat> 